hits keep on coming. More limited publishing titles, more imports, and more of that good old ESRB. It's both exciting and painful for collectors, so let's get ready to rip this band-aid off super quick. It's dangerous out there. Play Asia and East Asia Soft are wondering if you'll brave the zombie apocalypse and death road to Canada from Rocket Cat Games and Mad Garden. This released on the 21st and hopefully you either got or still can get a copy of this wild random action adventure. One of the best parts is that you can create your own characters from scratch and play them in the game. You don't see character creators in too many 2D pixel games, so that's an absolute bonus. The standard version will run you $29.99, while the collector's edition that contains the game, a manual, a double disc soundtrack, and a numbered certificate is $39.99. Currently available from Special Reserve Games is The Messenger. This beautiful classic Ninja Gaiden throwback of a game is a must play for just about everyone. Sabotage Studio has you going on a mission to deliver a scroll to the top of a mountain after your village is attacked by the evil demon king. Pick this game up from Special Reserve's website for $34.99 and get a sequentially numbered copy in a 24-page booklet packaged in a special tribute box. If you'd rather, or if you're a completionist, there is also a cover variant being released for the same price over at Limited Run Games. Pre-ordering from Special Reserve gets you free shipping upon release though, so keep that in mind when you're deciding which you'd rather buy, if not both. Red Art Games brings you Stay from Abnormal's team in May. But the game is up for pre-order now with only 3,000 copies available. If you want it, you better get it. Quinn wakes up alone in a locked room, and only through your help via an internet-connected computer terminal can he survive. Don't forget about him though, because time does not stop. If you stop playing for a week, when you come back, you might find Quinn in worse shape than when you left him. Red Art promises DLC, digital soundtrack, a booklet with pixel art, and a special surprise goodie, all for €29.99. Games Farm, SRO, and Calypso Media Group are swooping in with the Air Conflicts Collection Double Pack to kick things off for the 26th. This contains both Air Conflicts Secret Wars and Air Conflicts Pacific Carriers. Between the two games, there's more than 30 different aircraft to fly on missions in historic locations like Midway and Pearl Harbor. The game even supports online multiplayer with up to 8 players. Grab both of these in one package for $39.99. March 26th also sees the release of Dragon Marked for Death from NT Creates. Take control of one of four characters with unique strengths and abilities in this 2D side-scrolling action RPG. Enjoy up to four local or online multiplayer and work together to get through the levels and beat the bosses. The physical edition contains all four classes, Empress, Warrior, Shinobi, and Witch, as well as an additional quest DLC in the Dragonblood Village and Dragonblood Thief as well as a limited edition DLC, the Striker Gear Pack, which adds an additional weapon for each class. All of this comes at you for $49.99, unless you were lucky enough to snap up the price there on Best Buy when it was first listed, in which case congratulations on picking it up for $39.99. Continuing the games coming on the 26th, the Atelier series is celebrating its 20th anniversary with its new title, Nelki and the Legendary Alchemists, Ateliers of the New World from Koei Tecmo. As the young, newly appointed governor of the village of Westbald, Nelki must build and develop the village so it can grow. As the village expands, you'll have to fight monsters and find the sage relic while gathering more materials. Better raise that approval rating or citizens will revolt. If you purchase within the first two weeks, you'll be able to download an early purchase bonus that includes the Gust 25th Anniversary Background Music Packs 1 and 2, Gust Chan, the Atelier 20th Anniversary Appreciation House, and a mysterious alchemist statue. Get yours for $59.99. NIS America comes in hot with another game on March 26th. You play the role of a seasoned knight and must pick a princess apprentice from one of four different kingdoms and train them up to fight the evil invading your land in The Princess Guide. Issue your princess knight orders on the battlefield and watch as their unique story unfolds. You can get this for $39.99 at retail, but our friends at NIS America has you special edition collectors covered once again by bringing you a limited edition complete with the game, soundtrack, hardcover art book, four knights playing cards, and a glory of the Princess Knights terror resistant poster, all in a collector's box for $59.99. There appears to be a few left as of this writing, but probably not many, 
so you better act fast. Still on the 26th, the dead continue to roam as the last chapter in the former Telltale game story of The Walking Dead comes to a conclusion courtesy of Skybound Games. In The Walking Dead, the final season, follow AJ and Clementine as we see how the story finally ends. It's a fitting end to Telltale and will hopefully be a fitting end to the Walking Dead Telltale series. This gives you access to all of the final season episodes, including the upcoming episode 4 finale. Grab it while you can for $39.99. Drift through cities at breakneck speed and Xenon Racer from Sodesco and 3D Clouds. In the future where flying cars are the norm, you join an organized wheel-based race circuit with electric boosted vehicles. Slide into this one on March 26th for $49.99. Releasing in Japan, I mean America, on the 28th will be Waku Waku Animal, I'm sorry, Fun Fun Animal Park from Nippon Columbia and Axis Games. Fun Fun Animal Park is a cutesy party game featuring animals as the characters you control. Boy, that sounds familiar. Grab a friend and your Joy-Cons and see who can be king of these crazy competitions. Fun Fun Animal Park retails for 4,800. Oh, sorry. I mean, 29.99. Didn't I just do this game last year? Why can't they announce worldwide or close to it when they announce a game in Japan? I really didn't want to buy two copies of this, honestly. We discussed Bomb Chicken from Nitrome back when Nintendo announced that it was coming to the Switch, and now you can order it physically on March 29th from our friends over at Limited Run Games. An accident causes our chicken to become a bomb-laying hero, and you embark on a quest to discover the darkly kept secrets of the evil fast food chain, BFC. There is no special edition for this one, so pick up an open pre-order for $29.99. Yoshi is back! Kamek and Baby Bowser are up to no good. And it's up to Yoshi to get back the stolen gems in Yoshi's Crafted World by Goodfeel and Nintendo. There's so much more to explore in this new adventure, you'll flip the level around, that is. That's right, the stages will be playable backwards and forwards, revealing things you simply couldn't see the first time through. The visuals look stunning, as some items take on an almost lifelike style. You can pick this up on the 29th for $59.99. THQ Nordic heard my calls and are breaking the seals to bring forth the apocalypse on Switch. Darksiders War Mastered Edition is coming, and it's bringing fun and excitement with it. This action-adventure with RPG elements blends the puzzle-solving dungeon crawls of Zelda with the 3D beat-em-up style of God of War beautifully. The apocalypse has been called forth, and when only the Horseman War shows up, some questions arise as to who's responsible when the seventh seal appears to remain intact. Help War clear his name as you slice your way through hordes of demons and angels. Pick this one up for $29.99 on April 2nd. On April 4th, D3 Publisher is doing their thing again. This time, they're bringing a compilation called The Experience, a sports pack that has D3's games Tennis, Knock 'em Down Bowling, The Golf, and Billiard. There's not too much to say on this other than it's got the four different games, supports multiplayer, up to four players with bowling, and that it might scratch the Wii Sports itch for some people. You can pick this up on Amazon Japan for 3,024 yen retail. D3 Publisher has a second game releasing on the same day. This one is the variety game and another compilation. This pack contains the games Catch'em Goldfish Scooping, The Card, The Number Puzzle, and Enchanting Mahjong Match. Just like the sports pack, portions of this game supports up to four players. The game The Card has four different games. Poker, Texas Hold'em, Blackjack, and Page One. You can also grab this one from Amazon Japan for 3,024 yen at retail. On the 5th of April, Dragon Ball is coming to the Switch for the third time with Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission from Bandai Namco. This is a virtual collectible card game where you form a deck to battle it out. There are over 350 characters from the franchise included. You can even play online. This edition, dubbed Hero Edition, includes a Dragon Ball Super card game pack of five exclusive cards and a Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission power-up pack of 11 early character card unlocks. Get your copy for $59.99 at retail. We mentioned this one last time, but the game got delayed, so here we go again. 
You play online decided that a life and business sim based on becoming a famous YouTube celebrity would be a great idea. Razor Games and Raven's Court decided we need it physically. But thankfully, it's limited to Europe for the time being. Sim the everyday life of a content creator on YouTube and try to gain a following to build a life doing so. If only it were that easy. Tell me about it. This one comes April 5th and can be picked up for £29.99. There's a few good ones coming out here. I know I've been waiting for The Messenger since it was announced. Me too. And Darksiders? I will definitely be buying that for the third or fourth time now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.